Okay, um, what happened to my screen? There it goes. Let's uh, finish up XFCE by uh, installing the rest of the goodies. So sudo pacman dash capital S and then uh, XFCE4, I think it's goodies, enter all. And I'm going to pause this, of course. Okay, uh, that's done. And um, now for the sound, uh, we need uh, also uh, dash tools and also and not mixer dash utils. Oops. First of all, though, I should whip uh, sudo backman dash capital S space end. Now, with that uh, done, uh, we run also mixer and right from the command line. And these channels are uh, muted. So we have to press M and then just the arrow key all the way up. Uh, we'll just leave that PCM M to unmute. And that should be good enough for inside of VirtualBox. Okay? So you press escape to exit that one. Okay, let's uh, configure our um, Pac-Man keys. So it's sudo pac-man dash key, key, tac tac dash dash in it, I think. Type your password. Okay, so this is going to take its time, not too long. So what I would suggest is just browse your web. You want the system a little bit busy. So um, let's go to Arch and Packages. And uh, talk about the Arch uh, Linux user repository. And um, there's a program we're going to get called Yawart after the uh, signatures are done. Okay. But there's an easier way to get that. So um, I'll look for that. It's Arch Linux FR. All one word. Okay. First hit you get. The great thing about this, this saves you a lot of time, believe me, is uh, you just add this into your uh, Pac-Man config files as another repository and while that's going we'll check our signatures and they're done now we have to do one more thing pacman key tac tac pop relate and then the space arch linux i think that's right there you go and there should be five so one two three four Five. Done. And I'll leave the terminal open actually. Or am I? Yes. Sudo leafpad slash etc slash pack man dot c o n f. Scroll down. It's much faster with the graphical univ universe interface. So we take this. Part with the square brackets and copy that and uh, paste. Press enter and then the same thing with this. Gotta be careful. I don't don't over select these. Copy, paste. Control save. I mean Control left to save and exit. Minimize this, and now we're. I'll clear the screen. Sudo, Pac-Man. Now we're going to get an update. It's going to say there's no database for the new repository we added. Um, as you see up here, but that's okay. It's going to um, generate a database for us. There. Now. Pack, uh, back to sudo, Pac-Man, capital S, and yeah, just to make sure, and um, bum, 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 bum. 
So everything's done for you. You don't have to worry about the package developer or the base level or anything. That's all done. So Yao Art and G Volume Wheel. This is just one of them. There it is. You can press one. Now it's gonna say it's unsupported, potential dangerous. You can look at it if you want, if you want to edit the package. Usually you wanna look for like if it's um sixty four bit supported, but I know this is. So just hit N for no. Continue building, yes. Yes, enter. Okay, that didn't take too long. And we'll exit out of here. And uh da -da 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 um, how would that work? I know in the in the regular just run program, okay? And it's G V O L W H E E L. There he is. Mixer. Okay, it's not going to show up, so we have to go properties preferences, okay? And we change this to X F C E. Four dash mixer and show a tooltip and save mixer. There it is. So let's go to. You have flash plugged in. Uh, let's get an ad blocker because it drives me nuts. <laughs> the ads, add-ons, ad block. We'll just get the first one to save time. Hmm. Install. Usually I get the other one too, the element hider, but this is fine. Weird thing is it doesn't ask me to restart. I don't know why. But it will go to the... Yep, okay. You can figure your preferences, etc. I'll close this back down. Back up. And... And we'll look for Arch Linux whatever. Actually, no, we'll look for uh, uh, Arch Linux XFC. I think I have a video on that. There it is. Good. So the sound's working. Uh, video's working. Yep, 1020p. And good. So we have sounds. We have flash on the web. And for the clock, you just go properties. LCD, 24 hour format or um, 12 hour. And for this panel here, we'll go to properties. This is really neat. Is uh, show action buttons. And I uncheck lock screen, switch user, separator, suspend. And Man, that was neat. <laughs> okay. Uh, restart, separator, logout, and logout, and show confirmation dialog to, to restart, ion check. And now you can power off, shut down, restart, and log out. And you have volume, you have the time, and let's add in, uh, nope. Whatever. Um, add new item. Let's add the weather. <sighs> add. Uh, he ends up he ends up over here, so we just right click and select move and put him here somewhere if you want. No data properties, paracol or uh, what do you want? Let's try. It. There you go. Okay. Let's give it. There we go. So it's at night time, fairly late. 68 degrees, which is a lot cooler than it has been. And it's going to spin up to close to 100 some days. So yeah, there you go. A neat little weather update. Add it. Two seconds and you're done. Okay, so that about covers it, uh, I think. And uh, maybe some videos down. I'll uh, show you how you install uh, multiple desktop environments and other stuff. So... I hope this helps somebody out there, and thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a good day, night, and all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.